Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome to another episode of PSVR News. I am slowly dissolving into nothingness. Before we start this video, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy what you're seeing. That out of the way, let's jump right into it. Alright, first things first, a bit of breaking news that I spotted on Twitter thanks to PSVR Underground aka AJ who tweeted this, or retweeted it I should say. I went to check it myself on the PS Store, In I'm in Europe, so it is up in Europe. This is of course Layers of Fear VR. This game has been out on the other platforms, I think Oculus, Quest, Rift, whatever. It's been out for a while over there, but there is a listing on the PS Store now, and it says it's coming soon. Now, funnily enough, you can see it there in the corner where it says its requirements, and it includes the PS Aim Controller, which is kind of bizarre, and it must be some mistake, because this game is pretty much a walking simulator, or not really, but, well, basically a walking simulator. You go around a spooky house interacting with things. So if you're looking for some PS VR horror this year, keep your eyes peeled for layers of fear. There's also Wraith the Oblivion, which will be coming out sometime in the spring. So we got two big kind of VR games in the horror department. Don't know any details about this other than the fact that it's up on the store. There's no date, it just says coming soon. There's no price listing. So we will just have to wait and see when it comes to that. Next thing I want to talk about today is Stride. Now anyone with a pair of functioning eyeballs can clearly see that this game is heavily inspired by Mirror's Edge. It is basically Mirror's Edge in virtual reality. I'm sure there's people out there who would disagree with me because it uses guns as well. But that's basically what it is. I mean, the aesthetic, the look of it, the parkour, all that stuff, it is incredibly similar to Mirror's Edge. Looking, I haven't played it yet, but Hopefully I will soon, that's because this game has been confirmed to come to PSVR sometime in 20 or spring 2021 I should say and it's going to have extra modes and then later on in the year it's going to be upgraded or updated to include story stuff but right now it's going to be launching well, not right now, but when it does launch, it's going to have like an arena mode, endless mode stuff you may be familiar with if you've played Super Hot. It kind of has a little twist of Super Hot in there as well. So yeah, this game actually looks really cool and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it. Finally, I want to talk a little bit about Poker Stars VR. Now, this game has been out in the Oculus for years, I think, at this stage and the PSVR has been severely lacking a poker game for some reason. We're over four years into the PSVR's lifespan, we still don't have a proper poker game, or any poker game maybe. Unless you can play poker in Rec Room, I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, it's ridiculous that there hasn't been one, and that is up until recently. Now, we've already talked on the channel about how, you know, this game has been leaked. It's not officially confirmed, but, you know, it's it's the elephant in the room. The game went up on the PSN store list, and at least the American PSN store, so it's been spotted there. You can actually search for it right now and spot it. I've put up the image on the screen because I just did a Google search for it there and it popped up immediately. It says on that that it released on the 28th of January, which is of course false because it never actually released. So what's going on with this game? Why is it so quiet? Well, it could just be a case of this game will drop when it drops, no announcement. That seems to be kind of a common enough occurrence for virtual reality games. Sometimes they don't get any we don't get any warning whatsoever and they just drop. Another thing could be that maybe it's ready for the North American store, but it's not ready for European stores or different regions. And perhaps they want a global launch to have as many players playing as possible. That could be a reason why they're doing this, or at least that could be a reason why it's been delayed, even though it's not really delayed because they never announced it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, anyone who's a fan of poker, but not even just poker, just social interaction, this game has a lot of I would say werewolves within vibes I'm getting from this. There's a lot of messing around with people. Eight players, from what I understand, on the other platforms, it's free to play and it makes its money through microtransactions where you buy the chips. You can get free chips daily. So when you run out of chips, I think that's when the itch to buy chips might come in. If not, you can just, you know, wait the next day and then you can get more free chips to continue playing. The game does seem to have a ton of physical interactions that you'll be needing your move controllers for, like the way you just throw chips physically and you can interact with all these little novelty items like a miniature donkey that you can put a cigarette in its mouth and make it smoke apparently. All kinds of crazy stuff. So this game I think will be an excellent addition to the PSVR library, especially in the multiplayer department and we can add it to the bullet roulette, werewolves within that type of roster and hopefully there'll be, you know, well poker is poker, you know, 
it's like Tetris, it's like Solitaire, whatever, it's just a classic game. As long as that works, as long as it's not buggy, then it's guaranteed to be a good game. So keep your eyes out for Poker Stars in VR. Hopefully it won't be too much longer and it might just be a case of not being announced at all. It might just pop up on your stores, so maybe check it every once in a while. Now before I end this video, let me thank my Patreon supporters who are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their generosity, they're helping keep this channel nice and moist. In particular, let me give a huge shout out to the following top tier Patreon supporters. Tradition, Crumb, Chopped 517, Pete Hawkins, Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid, and Columbus Thomas the Third. Thanks very much for that support. It really is appreciated for the channel. If you'd like to help out as well, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins, link to which is in the description below. But if not, I'll also be happy with the likes, the comments, all that usual YouTube shite. Finally, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. So you can check him out over at Decepticon.com, link to that also in the description. And with that, I'll end the video. Thank you for watching and stay moist.